So I've had some time with this new Anytone 168 Bridgecom gave me to review. And I wanted to go over some key features that I really enjoy about it over another Anytone, the 878. So you get two batteries with this radio. You get two antennas. It is a smaller form factor. And what I really like about it is now it is a USB-C programming cable. If you're familiar with the Baofeng or any of the overseas radio, they will use this for a programming cable. It has gone from this to a USB charging slash program cable, which makes it a lot easier to program. Um, the sound quality is every bit as good. And you're going to ask yourself, well, well, why would I go with the 168 over the 878? Well, if you're not really into, let's say, satellite work or you're not really heavy into APRS, but you want to tip your toes into the DMR world, this is going to give you a few more options. It's going to give you a couple different antenna options. You're going to get two batteries, but I will have to say the, the bigger of the two batteries that I have on this radio has lasted me quite a while before I had the charge. I would say probably two, three days of testing and gone through that so you can keep in a spare with you. Just to give you a perspective, here is the 878 compared to the 168. It is a smaller form factor, but it is pretty much laid out the same. So if you're familiar with this radio setup, you will be very familiar with the setup on the 168. The sound quality, I'm going to say, is every bit as good as the 878. Here is some conversation on Talk Group 91 Worldwide, and it's a very nice little radio. So if you want to get into DMR, but you're kind of balking at the $350, $360 price tag for the 878, this one comes in considerably cheaper with a huge amount of the same features as the 878. I think it's a good choice. And once again, Bridgecom was so graciously to send this to me for review. One thing I like to add is programming this radio is very, very simple, especially if you use the Bridgecom University. It is a section of five to 10 minute videos on very specific aspects of the radio. So it takes you step by step. And when they say that you can be on the air in five minutes, you can be on the air in five minutes. It is super easy to update, to program, and get on the air. Mm -hmm.